Now, the glaciers in Alaska are the grandest that I know, and they formed up in the mountains a long, long time ago. They are frigid, frozen rivers, a jillion tons of ice. And the visitors who view them say there's nothing quite so nice. There's the Matanuska, Mendenhall, Taku, and Malaspina, Bering, Loga, Davidson, Shoshana, Chistachina, Russell, and the Allen, and Nelchina, Gleam at Dawn, Taslina, Muir, and Brady. I could just go on and on. Most magnificent to gaze on and mostly white in hue, but some walls that sun rays blaze on are big and bold and blue. Eh, you can look in some big book to find out all that stuff. I'd like to share the story of my friend, the Glacier Gruff. The Glacier Gruff, the Glacier Gruff, he's mighty small but mighty tough. You ought to see him do his stuff, my furry friend, the Glacier Gruff. Now, the Gruff is found in glaciers like the ones we talked about. And he's fuzzy and he's furry from his tail tip to his snout. Ha, you think his eyes unsightly because they're small like little beads? Well, the ice and snow gleam brightly and these quite fulfill his needs. No arms or legs we're seeing, but his tail is used a lot. It propels this little being and it fans him when he's hot. But sort of like a snake he moves and sort of like a worm. It makes you want to giggle at his silly wiggle squirm. Some plants and seeds that lived up north a long, long time ago were captured fresh and frozen by the tons of falling snow. It's a picture perfect when you spy it for, built by our creator. That's the gruff's entire diet in a huge refrigerator. That fuzzy furry schnoz you see is wiry like a broom, and with it gruffs can dig out food or build themselves a room. And then when he is hungry, he can whisk the ice away and fill his needs with plants and seeds from another age and day. And gruffs are never greedy, because that's the way they live. And if a fellow gruff is needy, they will give and give and give. The glacier gruff, the glacier gruff, he's mighty small but mighty tough. You ought to see him do his stuff, my furry friend, the glacier gruff. Now, sometimes a gruff will wander from his giant glacier home, and a wily wolf will blunder on that gruff that starts to roam, and the old wolf moves in and licks his chin, for gruffs are great to eat. But gruffs will stay, not run away. A gruff will not retreat. He lifts his tail like a tiny sail and waves it like a sickle. And then right on his nose, as you'd suppose, he gives that wolf a tickle. And then the other gruffs all gather around. The old wolf can't get his breath. He rolls around there on the ground, most tickle plum to death. And while the wolf is howling like a thousand kids at play, the gruffs give one last tickle and then wiggle on their way. The glacier gruff, the glacier gruff, he's mighty small but mighty tough. You ought to see him do his stuff, my furry friend, the glacier gruff. Now, one time I went out walking where I wasn't supposed to go, and my foot slipped on the glacier and I sprawled there on the snow, and then, then the snow gave way beneath me for I was lying by the edge, and I fell way down in a crevasse and I landed on a ledge. Then the snow filled up my footprints and no one could find my trail. I was cold and tired and hungry, and my pulse began to fail. Then I felt a furry warmness as I lay there on the ice. It was a head-to-toe warm cover. It was snug and soft and nice. The morning came a dawning, and the sky gave out some light, and I awoke quite warm and yawning. I was startled at the sight. As I sat there and huddled, now this may surprise you, sure enough, all night long I had been cuddled by the fuzzy glacier gruff. And then in the chilly weather, because the gruffs will never fail, they all got strung together, tail to nose and nose to tail. Without so much as trying, the climbing wasn't rough. I was saved from certain dying by the fuzzy glacier gruff. Then they whisked me out a pathway, and they pointed out the trail, and I, I made it back to safety, but no one believed my tail. Yes, the gruffs all got together, and they saved me as a team. But not a single soul believed me. They were sure I'd had a dream. So sometimes I go out strolling when there's no one else around, and for the glacier, rough and rolling, I forsake the solid ground. And I whistle, and I holler, and right there very soon, the gruffs all squiggle around me and we sing a happy tune. So I hope you all will join me as we gaily skip along to salute my furry friendos with that glacier hopping song. The glacier gruff, the glacier gruff, he's mighty small but mighty tough. You ought to see him do his stuff, my furry friend, the glacier gruff. <laughs>